Segundo a Organização Mundial da Saúde, o surto de ebola no oeste africano se tornou uma emergência de saúde pública internacional. Até 8 de agosto, a doença já era responsável por 1.779 casos e 961 mortes na região. The declaration of a public health emergency of international concern alerts the world to the need for high vigilance for possible cases of Ebola virus disease. But by no means implies that all countries or even many countries will see Ebola cases. It's important to reach out to the communities and to engage them and to use all sorts of varieties of, of ways to do this. So, for example, in communities there are many opinion leaders. They may be religious leaders, they may be local leaders, but they are people who really shape the understanding and, and, and perspectives of communities, and it's important to reach out to them so that people really understand that this is not a mysterious disease and what are the proper steps that can be done. The three countries that are most uh, uh, affected by Ebola disease are countries that have very weak health system capacity. Uh, they don't have the financial capacity. Um, you know, they don't have enough uh, doctors, nurses, and of course, you know, the laboratory uh, technicians that have to be, you know, part of the whole package to respond. And of course, you know. A uh, simple thing, even like uh, PPE, uh, protective clothing, they do not have them. Centro de Informação das Nações Unidas para o Brasil, Unique Rio.